Hi comrades, viewers KVS. Today in our midst, comrade Janardhan Masumdar, the Secretary General of the National Federation of Postal Employees and also the General Secretary of the All India Postal Employees Union Group C in the midst of his busy schedule. Because all of you know tomorrow, the one day token strike to be held in the Postal Department to save the Postal Department as a government service. Even at this juncture, he is attending and giving this interview for the benefit for the viewers of the postal employees all over the nation, so that um, the doubts will be cleared to all. I am welcoming Comrade Janadhan Mathumdar. Comrade, welcome, Comrade. Thank you, Comrade. It's my pleasure. Okay. Yesterday, Comrade, you had a lengthy discussion with uh, all the general secretaries uh, of the National Federation of Postal Employees. After the FNBO jettisoned in the midst of the struggle, they have last minute yes. they have withdrawn, and so that you have decided yes. you have convened your federal uh, secretariat and finally decided to go on strike on 10th August. Actually, all of us want to know what transpired in the meeting, consultation meeting held on 5th, uh, I mean 5th August 2022, and uh, how we are differing from the saying of the officers. First you can explain and thereafter one by one we can go, comrade. Uh, good morning to everybody and my sincere thanks to you also, that is senior respected leader like A.V. Sridharan. I am discussing with him, exchanging our views. Uh, for the benefit of our campaign, yes. last minute campaign yes. for strike uh, that is going to be held on tomorrow. Yes. Before coming to outcome of the meeting with the officers on 5th August, yes. I want to mention yes. that uh, our postman and MPS union they had series of educational program right from division to all india exclusively on their issues number two our r3 nap and r4 nap they had also same kind of program on their issues right from division to circle all india yes they had submitted their memorandum, charter of demands, etc., etc. Yes. From NAP also, I am just taking help of this time on behalf of Postal Joint Council of Action on 14th June 2022. One clear letter has been issued to Postal Directorate yes. mentioning that we are very much concerned over the proposed disastrous changes in Postal Department with an eye to corporatization. There, in that letter, we clearly mentioned yes. we are very much concerned over the future of our Postal Savings Bank. But not a single letter yes. of Postal JCA, NAP, Postman and MTS Union, or R3 NAP, R4 NAP has acknowledged or replied by the department. Okay. Even NFP issued strike notice on 11 July okay. with a decision to go on strike on 4th August. Okay. But at the same time, we tried our best to build up united struggle to save our department. Yes. At the request of FNP only, we deferred our date, you know it well, from 4th August to 10th August. So, what I want to mean that 
department had every scope to come up with their reply on our charter of demands well in advance. Mm. But when they called on that meeting on 5th August, mm. just mm. four or five days before the strike, mm. okay, still we in the meeting expressed our sincere thanks to our officers mm. that at least they have called on a meeting. Yes. And before that, before that, they sent their written reply on our charter of demands. But I am telling you frankly, there is no difference yes. between the their written reply and the outcome of the meeting. I am sorry to say that. Our honorable secretary post, DG post, they only discuss on our first agenda. Though there are 20 points in our charter of demands. And after that, lunch break, and after member P discussed on other remaining 19 issues, and that meeting also continued only for half an hour. Mm. In that meeting, department told, if you go to the reply of the department, mm. anybody may think that it's very good. Mm. They have clearly mentioned mm. that there will be no corporatization of postal department. There will be no migration of just I am uh, reading out the points of their reply that there will be there is no such scheme called Dakmishra. But already there is a proposal, you know, salary. Okay, then they told that there is no proposal to promote corporatization, privatization in Department of Post. Again, they told there is no proposal for being bringing POSB operations under the control of IPPB. IPPB will provide technology support for CBS operation. Okay. Next, what is the next line? Next line is IPPB is a 100% government owned payment bank. I repeat, IPPB is a 100% government owned payment bank under Department of Post. So, the outcome of the meeting seemed to us most superficial and contradictory also. Why? At one hand that they are telling that there will be no corporatization or privatization of postal department. But at the same time, they are implementing common service center they are implementing a revamped franchisee outlet scheme. And not only that, in the meeting they told that slowly, slowly these services will be extended. Number one. Number two, when we have demanded road transport network, it is nothing but a private private mode of transmission of postal articles. Mm. When we are demanding its discontinuation, they are telling in note they have mentioned it is safe and secure system and also reliable. 
so if we don't say it's a road no a road map to corporatization then when we will say that department will moving with a road map of corporatization hmm. our postman and nps union i have already told you that at several occasions hmm. they issued letter against parcel hub nodal delivery center shop speed post letters etc and also they sought for a meeting hmm. with this intention that in that meeting they will submit they means our postman and mps union nap will submit their view points with facts and figures that nodal centralized delivery system is only delaying the delivery of postal goods like pass parcel speed post in particulars but now they are telling that ndc that is the centralized mode of delivery has resulted in expedited delivery to which we disagree in the meeting but unfortunately if you go through the minutes of the meeting in the meeting they mentioned that minister is uh always in favor of our department so what so what so in that meeting we clearly told that we don't agree with the assurances with the versions with the sayings of the officers but, but though i should mention that personally we have uh, we are not against them but again and again in the meeting we try to make it clear that actually we are against the policies of the government see now department is telling that ipcb will only extend technological support to pos and not only that in the meeting they told that ipcb will act as like as cp infosys hmm. my clear submission is whether it is at all acceptable because since long department is trying to introduce one full fledged banking system in postal department we are not against that government has the authority particularly when posb is under the control of ministry of finance so government has the authority to form full fledged banking system in postal department but not in form of ipcb limited yes. which is which is registered under company act which is na which will finally legalize the grip of corporates over the hard earned money of our common man mainly the poor people in small savings see in small savings our poor people used to invest money with this understanding that their money is safe but once now they are telling that you need not to be worried ipcb will only act uh, to extend technological support but we don't believe that at the same time we don't want to say that tomorrow or day after tomorrow 
PhD will be migrated to IPT because it's a time taking process. Actually, but comrade. We are sure. Actually, comrade, yes, I want yes. to supplement one issue. I had a news. Yes. Some of the topmost offices in the Department of Post, they met the finance minister and also the communication minister and conveyed their opinion that they don't want to serve under the IBB Limited. And minister said, if you don't like, you can quit the department. Likewise, they said, accordingly, one of the topmost officers in the department of post, now he is seeking transfer to some other department. If it is true, the bureaucrats are lying and they are not telling the truth to the union. This is my observation. Exactly. This is my I do agree. They are hiding yes. because I think they have compulsion and they are also not in mood. I am telling you frankly, our officers are also not in mood to migrate POSD into IPTD. Okay. But they are they are working under the framework of policies of the government. That is their compulsion. Yes. yes. And secondly, and secondly, yes. they are saying that post office savings bank will be under the control of the post office. Okay. Then why they have not remitted the commission due for the postal department till this date? The commission due from the finance ministry has not been transferred to the postal department. And finance ministry is saying that it should come to the IBB and IBB has to distribute the amount to the postal department. Is it the fact or not? No. Yes, it is fact. And by this way, they, are, they means the government is flourishing the IPTV limited. Actually, and they are telling wrong. They are telling false news. Actually, they are telling false news about the transfer of POSB to IBBB. It is in their agenda. I feel it is in their yes, agenda. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's why in the meeting also, we clearly told, sir, you have your compulsion, but we know it clear that unless we build up resistance at this juncture, positively, government will migrate POSB into IPP. That's why the necessity of united struggle and strike uh, is there, Congress. Comrade, and uh, what is the message you are saying to the rank and file of the National Federation of Postal Employees? Because we are going alone tomorrow in the strike. NFP has deserved yes, actually, actually, comrades, I am telling you frankly that before going to strike, as the biggest organization of postal department and also the responsible organization, we tried to build up overall unity of all organizations, overall unity of all cross-section of postal employees, irrespective of unions and federations. That's why we sent letters to all unions with this request, Please try to realize the attack on our department and join our strike. Okay. Not only that, already, already I mentioned that at the request of FNPO only, we deferred our strike from 4th August to 10th August. Okay. We thought that when the attack of the government is so aggressive, so, overall unity should be there to resist this attack. Yes. But unfortunately, at the 11th hour, FNPO, there was a meeting at Postal Directorate after the meeting of the, with the officers. 5th time meeting, 5th August. First meeting with the officers, and then we had this short period meeting of PJC. There we clearly told, we means NFP clearly told, 
that we are not satisfied with the outcome of the meeting. Okay. So we are ready to go on strike. Our rank and file, our comrades, they are ready to go on strike. Okay. Then our friends of FNPO they told, okay, we will twelve p.m. of next day. That is six August. Yes. They will intimate their views. Yes. We had a decision there that up to that period, yes. neither NFP nor FNPO will send any message to our rank and file. Yes. But unfortunately, immediately after the meeting, our friends of FNPO, they posted on SMS yes. with this message that they are satisfied with the outcome of the meeting and they are waiting for the minutes of the meeting. Okay. I am telling you, when our letters are not being addressed month after month, Meeting was on 5th August. Yes. On next working date, <laughs> department sent <laughs> the minutes. Send <laughs> the minutes. <laughs> so, so everything is clear here. I am not going in details. I am not attacking anybody. I have uh, respect on our employees, irrespective of our, uh, irrespective of unions. They are knowledgeable. Yes. They are wise enough, they will consider everything. But in the later FNPO mentioned, I am just telling that we are grateful to the honorable MOC of his assurance on the subject. What is the assurance? That postal department will not be privatized. This government is going with a privatization spree in everywhere, in telecom department, in defense sector, in railway department, in electricity department, even in BSNL, what telecom ministers threatened in such a manner. I know everybody knows. Yes. So they are believing the assurance of the uh, honorable MOC. In next line, they mention that in respect of other issues, such as role of IPPB, etc., we have reservation and minutes are not convincing. So they are also doubtful. They are also doubtful over the outcome of the meeting. And now come to, I am coming to role of BPF. Yes. BPF told they are against the strike. Okay, very good. But they also hold a meeting. Yes. Meeting means uh, night stay in demonstration yes. on 2nd August. Yes. What was the agenda? I am simply uh, reading out that BPF affiliated unions like provision of OPS in instead of NPS, merger of CRC and NSH, giving POSB work to IPP. What does it mean by? That on the same points, they are also in. Yes. But I am happy to mention that these points were first raised by National Federation of Postal Employees only. Actually, uh, one thing I want to say, in the previous strike, uh, during the previous strike, when there is no consensus arrived, when there is having any doubt about some demands, the department will arrange a meeting with the minister, and minister used to discuss with the union representative. But this time they are mentioning, that in the video conference of the head of the circle, the minister has given the assurance, Who, where is the guarantee? Where is the guarantee? There is no guarantee at all. It is only in the heads of the circle exactly. when somebody would have asked not you. Only that, that, not only uh, that, for, for, not only that, uh, I have no option but to mention that in the meeting of 5th August, our friends of FNPO, 
they were pressurizing on DG post, secretary post, that in the minutes, the assurance of the minister must be mentioned. So, so everything is clear to everybody. Everything is clear to everybody. So, comrades, so my message to our rank and file that everybody knows NFP is a class-oriented military organization. NFP is a class-oriented struggling force. There are several occasions we have tried to build up unity. That, was, that is our responsibility. But at certain point of time, if anybody uh, leave the battlefield, we cannot pressurize on them because yes. every federation has uh, a right to think of their own. Yes. But being a militant, disciplined organization, yes. our only concentration is to save the postal department to save our POSB. Yes. You know it well that amongst all cross-section of postal employees, there are severe resentment over India Post Payment Bank Limited. Yes. So this time we want to set up an example. Not only that, in my news, in the meeting, yes. we have frequently mentioned that the last membership verification of GDS was done in the year 2012. Now it is 2022. Apart from their six, uh, financial issues like SCP, uh, uh, medical facilities, etc., positive recommendation of Kamalesh Chandra Committee, we sincerely made request before them kindly come up with the process of membership verification. Our GDS Secretary, All India General Secretary, Pandu Rangarauji, in a meeting, clearly told that our option is to conduct membership verification manually. But if department is ready to go ahead online, we have no objection. Yes. So in the meeting held on 5th August, we yes. frequently requested him, sir, kindly conduct membership verification as soon as possible and kindly extend trade union facilities to all GDS unions. We have not told only GDS union of NFP. We yes. have told GDS union of FNP also. Yes. Such type of flexibility NFP have. So... But unfortunately, in the minutes, there is no mention. In the minutes, there, it has not mentioned that when department told that MOC is in favor of our department, we expressed our doubt. We yes. clearly told that in future it will be seen what yes. MOC does. But everybody, everything was simply denied of in mentioning in my news. Yes. So thereby clearly sending a wrong message to our rank and file. So actually, I am sincerely... Actually... Ah, yes, come yes. Actually in the minutes, not even a single sectional demand has been assured to be settled. All the demands exactly. were... Exactly. When they are saying... The question of revision of qualification uh, does not require for the pay revision. Then why you are enhancing the educational qualification? What is the need for decentralization? Absolutely. Absolutely. I raised the issue. I raised the issue. Yes, yes. Then, yes. Then, then, then secretary and DG post mentioned that, member B mentioned that you have to take care uh, with the next pay committee. But I told government is not ready to constitute eight pay commission already. We yes. have learning from different sources. So yes, yes. 
it is a total total dissatisfaction right. not even, only that in case of merger that. of one point only in right. case of merger of pa co we general line yes our general secretary sohan prasad clearly opposed yes from nfp we also opposed yes there is serious difference between the nature of job yes pa co and pa yes. post operational yes but not a single word has been mentioned in yes. the minutes yes so how can we say that we are satisfied how so can we say that there is no need of strike yes actually in the minutes there nothing is there no one time relaxation for filling up the hg1 post no higher pay no cadre restructuring no further cadre cadre restructuring was totally rejected for rms sbco circle of is totally rejected and uh, nothing is there five days week they are saying you have to work 24 into 7 and mm-hmm. they are they are fixing uh, unrealistic target and also they are asking us to come and work during these holidays also so many orders nothing not actually only, not only comrade not uh, only comrade when we are discussing in postal directorate on 5th yes. august yes. on that very day one circular has been issued yes cancelling all the leads yes. in between 7th august to 15th august yes yes we are going to uh celebrate our uh, 75th year of our independence it's a glorious historical moment to us yes what i was telling that in my views our key points our dissatisfactions were not mentioned so simply forwarding this my views they the department has tried to confuse our rank and file so that in confused our employees at ground level avoid the strike based on this scenario yesterday we what heard we discussed with most of our circle secretaries our all general secretaries under nap they also working hard you will be glad to learn that in kerala ipsi fnp yes they has taken decision to take part in strike is a brilliant development let's salute to comrades of our kerala sir i think slowly slowly this will extend in other circles yes. so through this program this is my thanking appeal to our comrades our employees including gds casual contract dedicated most to all kind at this crucial juncture kindly don't think which organization is not with us only concentrate that nap is still in battle field to save the department to save posb and also in the interest of all cross sections of employees this is not the first time that FNPO is leading the battle field. There are previous instances also. So my frantic appeal to all comrades, all members, kindly use the remaining hours before strike most effectively. Try to reach all cross sections of postal employees. irrespective of unions attack is such our level of campaign is such that already already there is a 
there is severe resentment. Our employees are very worried over the future of our department. Apart from our sectional issue, as you have mentioned in the very beginning, the fundamental question before us whether in future postal department will at all be a government department. See, at present, from POSD, we are earning 60%, more than 60% of the So, if POSD in future goes at stake, Naturally, the entire postal department will be at stake. So it's a crucial answer to save our departments, take all out efforts with this understanding that yes, NFP, only NFP can save the department from the attack of government policies. Our pioneers have taught us that the, in the conflict of compromise and struggle, NFP will have to take the side of struggle, struggle, struggle on. We are believing in struggle. We are not in mood to compromise. When our entire department is at stake, we don't want to see postal department as like as BSNL department. There also our BSNL employees have been struggling to save their department. So this time we want to set up an example to save our department as well as to send positive message to all those working class who are struggling in their department to save their department from policy offensives. Yes, comrade. Exactly. Exactly. Very good message you have given. Uh, prior to conclusion, I want to say two or three things, actually. Because, yes, in, the yes, because in the postal department, there are about 70 percent are new recruits actually they are new recruits they don't know the difference between our union and other union and also they don't know the sacrifice and other things they don't know the sacrifice because they are raw to the department and uh, some of the circles when they whether they in case if they are effectively functioning they know how to do sacrifice and other things but in some circles we are lacking this is the reality we cannot hide this also in such circle, we have to do the intensive campaign for the future struggle also. That is one thing. And also in the future, we have to go for a united struggle so we can reserve our comments and everything for a time being also. For the young comrades, I want to say, don't afraid of anything. Unless you are doing some sacrifice, you cannot save the department. When we are going for a war, you should not apply for, apply for the some casualties or some scar. You may have some scar. You have to bear the scar. Some casualties may be there. You have to make it. During 1960 and 1968, strike, many sacrifices their life for the future uh, generation so that we are surviving. Otherwise, we will not get it. The, what was the demand of 1968 strike? It was need-based minimum wage that we have achieved during the 50 pay commission. We could not achieve immediately. Each and every struggle, it will have its own reaction. Whatever struggle we are conducting, it will definitely have a reaction. It will not be a wasteful one. So you go ahead. You may have, my increment may be postponed. I have a given option for January. If I participate, then I will not get the increment for January. Or otherwise, whether I can be permitted to write the report. Everything, ignore it. If your department is there, thereafter only your promotion benefits everything. If you are thinking exactly. about exactly. Career, if, if you are thinking about yes, if, if, the, they are if the department is targetized, or yes. will be the data for salary, increment, bonus, etc. etc. 
Yes. So at this juncture, our main concentration is to retain the government monopoly of this department. Yes. Like if you are thinking that we will be losing one day salary, we may be losing the increment or something, you cannot survive actually. Actually, this time, Bharatiya Union is not there, FNBO is not there, SCST Federation given, they are not there, Madhavaya GDS Union, it is not there, it is only NFPE. Only NFPE, we want to show our strength. After seeing some of our colleagues, they are not participating in the strike, why should I participate? That, uh, Thinking should not come to the mind of our NFPE comrades. The NFPE comrades should definitely, as a militant soldier, as a militant soldier, ready to do some sacrifice for the cause of the workers, they should definitely. Okay, in the year 1757, <laughs> only Sirakadabha fought against the uh, British. Yeah. And finally, finally, I want to say one thing. Yes, comrade. Sometimes some sometimes some situation comes. Yes. When in postal department, NFP yes. has to take the lead. Yes. And this time also we are taking the lead. Future yes. future will give the answer. Yes. On 10th August, taking uh, style decision, it was a bold and correct decision of it. Yes. Actually, whatever comes, we will face it. The NFP yes, is sir. having facility to face it. When it was de-recognized during 60, it got the de-recognition. During 68, it was de-recognized, FNBO formed and thereafter also it got the recognition. I want to say one history, it is a historical, more historical thing. I want to say to our comrades before concluding my interview with Comrade Janardhan. After the 1968 strike, our top leaders, NJIR, Adi Narayana, L.A. Prasad, uh, all the leaders, they are waiting to see the Director General. At the same time, the FNBO leaders, they were also waiting. We are, we are not recognized today. FNBO was recognized by the department at that time. But when the DG entered the chamber, he immediately called the leaders of the NFP. They entered. One of our leaders just asked the DG, why are you calling us first when the recognized federation are waiting outside? Immediately DG told, no, 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 no. They are recognized by us, but you are recognized by the workers. They are recognized by us, but you were recognized by the workers. That was the word uttered by the then DG at that time. So whenever you are going on struggle, the people will, you have been recognized by the workers. You will be respected. Yes, sir, you are not. We, we believe only our employees, only yes. our members. Yes. Not so, so there should be no lacking in preparation for the strike. You have to work hard. Today night, whole night is there. Wherever there is any problem, in particularly some northern circuits, I, want, I am appealing, I am making an appeal on my personal behalf. Go and meet the yes, members. You, you, have the right, you have the right to make such appeal. Okay. Actually, As I am. Leader, you have yes. Actually, I am requesting all the circuit secretaries and divisional secretaries of the weaker circle. They can go and see the members today night, show the video show the content. So how the department is there? If the department is not there as a government department, where will we function? There is no chance for the future. So this we have to explain to our rank and file. Even one day is sufficient for us. Now social media, we are having all the links. You can pass on the link to each and every member and you should make the strike very grand success tomorrow. This is my fervent appeal as a, as a retired leader, as a postal retired trade union leader, I am requesting you should make the strike as a, as a very grand success. Oh, you are retired, but, but still you are with us. You are uh, serving for our organizations. Thank you. I know you, your advice is very much relevant to us. Before concluding the program, just yes. I am telling you that tomorrow it will be a very good start. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Uh, 
and tomorrow will be the new beginning. In future also, we will carry forward sustained struggle, not only amongst the postal employees, but also amongst the government. Already Confederation has expressed their solidarity. Tomorrow in other central government departments, solidarity program will be there. Our Central Trade Union, like CIU, they also released a very good press statement in favor of our strike. So I am sure that tomorrow it will be a very good strike throughout the country. We are totally ready. Our all perception of employees are totally ready to give a defeating reply to the government. Thank you very much, Janardhan Ji, for providing your valuable time at the so crucial stage. I am so happy to exchange something with you, our senior, respected leaders like of the ABs. Thank, thank you, you Thank you, thank you. I am requesting all the leaders that we should hear a very good news tomorrow from all of you. Thank you very much, comrade. Thank you very much.